The next thing that we want to do in order to add some visual interest to this is to add some color to both our launched particles and our splatter droplets. So first we'll add some color to the particles as they come out of the gun. So what we're going to do is in update, we're going to pick a color from a gradient, a random color, and then set the color of each particle as we emit it. So the way that we access each module of a particle system is by creating a variable of that type and then setting its variables. So we want to set the start color of our particles. And because start color is part of the main module, we're going to create a main module variable. And we're going to do that in update. So we're going to say particle system dot main module ps main, which will be the name of the variable, equals particle launcher dot main. So now we have a reference to the main module and now we can set its values. So now we're going to say ps main dot start color. Now we need a place to get a color from. So we're going to add a gradient, public gradient variable. So up at the top, we're going to add a public gradient called particle color gradient. And I'm going to copy that. And then in psmain.startColor, we're going to use particle color gradient dot evaluate. And so what this allows us to do is to pass in a number between zero and one, a float between zero and one, and get a point along our gradient, get the color at a point along our gradient. So what we want to randomize this. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in random dot range between zero F and one F. And now that is going to set the start color of the main module uh, to one of these random colors from our gradient. So we're also going to want to do this for our splatters. So I'm actually just going to copy this two lines and pull it up here to emit it location, paste it in. And all that we need to change is the particle system that we're setting the color on. We, we don't want to set particle launcher. We want to set splatter particles dot main and save that. So they're both going to be drawing from the same gradient. Now I'm going to save that script. And I'm going to jump back over to Unity. And now that we are working with the color, I'm going to uh, remove this tint color and set it back to white in the gun spray particle material and the splatter particle material so that we can tint it via script. And then in, I'm going to select the particle launcher game object and the particle color gradient here. We'll click it to open the gradient editor. And if you want to create your own gradient, you can just click on the point, choose a color. Let's choose maybe a nice deep blue. And then the other color could be a lovely, a nice yellow. Uh, and now we're going to pick points along the way here. Now I'm actually going to use a preset pre-created gradient, which is here and has four points, right? Just sort of for some different colors. Uh, and assign that uh, in the inspector. And then we can close the gradient editor, but of course you can make your own. Um, and now that should be good. So let's play and test. Yeah, so we can see now we're spawning lots of rainbow colored dots and rainbow colored splatters to go with it. And so now we can launch particles, detect collisions and use the collision data to position our emitter. The next step is going to be to spawn our decals at the hit locations. So let's make sure everybody's got this first part in the chat and then we will continue. Uh, MH Unity asks, where does particle color gradient come from? It's That's just a variable name I made up. The variable type is gradient. Here, I'll put the script on screen. It's here. It's a public gradient, and I just called it particle color gradient. 
and then we're using it down here.